In this module, I'll be talking about correlation and simple regression, regression using Minitab. So what I'll be using a data set to illustrate some of the things that you can do in Minitab. So we're, it would be best if you would follow along or uh, stop this video whenever uh, you need to, to to actually get a hands-on experience implementing the techniques. So what we're going to do now is look at how we can get a relationship or examine the relationship between delivery and cases. So this is example 25-01 in IWE volume 3. So we want to see if there's a relationship. So one of the things that we can do is we can go in and do a graph scatter plot. So if we do that and we come over here and we'd have our y variables is delivery time and the number of cases. So if we click OK, then we get a relationship in the form of a scatter plot. Now another way of presenting this information is to do a statistical analysis. So we're going to do statistical analysis regression fit regression model. So now we have delivery time again and then we'll have cases. Now in this particular case or what we want to have is we also want to look at residuals. So I'll create a four-in-one residual plot here. Okay, so this is, uh, let's look first at the analysis here. And then this is the analysis of variance tables. Now analysis of variance table, even though it uses the word variance, it's really looking at mean values. So we can see that we, we got a significant value and the regression is basically like testing off of a slope of zero. Okay, so we believe we have some relationship. Now, another thing we look at is the R squared value that we have. There's several different ways of calculating R squared. The one for us to write is probably the best, is that's 87%. So 80% of the variability that we have in uh, Y is represented by X. This also, in, as we scroll down, it, it gives us a regression equation, the best estimate for a regression equation, so that we could estimate the delivery time for the number of cases that we have. Also, it indicates in this particular output that we got some unusual events. It's got a large residual or has an I, uh, unusual x value. Now, if we, one of the things that you need to have or you want to have for this to all work satisfactorily is residuals. If you go in and have residual values that are not following like a normal distribution over here or a histogram, then you can have problems or your estimates may be wrong. You also want to look at it, the residuals versus the fit and the order. Now remember what the residuals are. Residuals are examining the actual values you had to the predicted value. So those values should be normally distributed and not have any um, pattern to them. So that's what uh, kind of a summary of what you can kind of do when you're looking at and creating and conducting a, um, regression analysis and correlation study.